Um, this is another video. Now, I've been saying for the longest that Lil Wayne don't like Drake. All right, I've been saying that for the longest. I everybody pretty much caught up to all the um, you know, subs that Lil Wayne has been um saying in his raps. What 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 Carday and um his song with Rick Ross and Big Sean and all just definitely you know, taking some shots. Uh, everybody's making a deal out of it. You know, Teddy Graham, Graham, Teddy, Pop Tart, uh, Sesame Seed Bun, um, Orange, Orange, Orange Peel Banana. You know, all that shit that that Wayne be saying. It's definitely shots at Wayne. I mean, it's 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 definitely shots at uh Drake. And once again, we gotta go back to Drake admitting. Well, Little Wayne admitted that Drake slept with one of his girls while while he was in jail. That's some real hoe shit. You know what I'm saying? And I think you know. Uh, Lil Wayne is ready to get his lick back. You know what I'm saying? So we got another video saying why Lil Wayne now officially hates Drake. Let's get to this video, all right? Where Drake currently stands with the man who signed him and helped mold him into the dominant musical force that he became in Lil Wayne. Following a period where we of course saw so many rappers in the game take a clear stance against Drake, but couldn't figure out where Wayne stood within all of this because of his complicated position in everything. We have finally been able to uncover where Wayne stands in this feud once and for all, which when we finally put together everything he has done since the height of the Kendrick and Drake beef. Despite rumors and moments that have tried to push the narrative that Wayne is still on Drake's side, with multiple moments that all led to his most loud, shocking, and effective statement about this entire situation yet, we can now see that even the rapper who brought Drake into stardom in the first place now has beef with him because with almost every single song Wayne has dropped since the beef and with almost every single moment he has been a part of. While Wayne has not made a loud statement that has outwardly shaken the very tides of the rap world like other MCs have, Wayne has left all of the pieces together for us to figure out that there is some sort of serious problem between him and Drake, but now the greater question that needs to be asked about all this is, why exactly have things went sour between Wayne and Drake at this point in time considering their over decade long relationship? And while this is a massive question to answer that has genre altering implications, when we look at all the hints Lil Wayne has left us about his current disdain for Drake, we can begin to piece together why this one's iconic brotherhood in hip hop is no more. And now the first moment we have to look at is the feature Wayne dropped off on Cordae's track Saturday morning as right. on this fantastic verse from Wayne, which absolutely stole the show in a fashion that only few features were able to talk. Honey Graham, Graham, Honey Graham, Sam I am, I eat green eggs and ham. Like everybody, then he was saying to, he said the you're a, I'm the goat, you're a sacrificial lamb, uh, Sam Bam, Wham Bam, thank you ma'am, uh, green eggs and ham. Oh yeah, that was direct bars, that goddamn uh, Drake. Yeah, when he, he was a Teddy Graham, uh, uh, Legos, uh, Lego my ego, all that shit that Wayne was saying. Definitely shots at, at Drake. Pop this year with their lyrical firepower. On this verse filled with classic Wayne quotables, amongst many other punchlines, he delivered a few bars that turned a lot of heads, which said, I'm a goat, you a sacrificial lamb, you a teddy bear, you a teddy gram. And now yep. with these bars, what Wayne seems to be doing here is making a feint. But if you are paying attention and understand the context of everything, a noticeable shot to Drake, where Wayne is putting himself above Drake first off and the drama that he is in right now. Right, and right. then he's going on to say that while he is the goat, Drake is being sacrificed to the rap game. And now as Wayne goes on to call whoever this bar is about a teddy gram, and Drake's real name is of course Aubrey Graham. This is the first lyric that is telling right. us that something between these two is off on some level. Because right. in this moment in time where Drake is under so much scrutiny, why why would Wayne even allude to something like this that could be perceived as a diss towards Drake? And now, while this one moment would not necessarily be enough on its own to send the rap world into shock over the fact that Drake and Wayne are now, now that's interesting. He said that you're a sacrificial lamb. So pretty much, what is Wayne saying? Yo, time has come, you know. And and that's why maybe maybe that's why Lil Wayne hasn't really came out and said, you know, I'm I'm you know, I'm behind Drake. Pause. Um, you know, he just all of a sudden, you know, he doing features with other people that that have beef with with Drake. Uh, you know, so yeah, it's it's, it's very interesting, and I'm not mad mad at Lil Wayne. You know, uh, I hope he just come out and just say fuck Drake. <laughs> now that would shake up the world, boy. That that would shake up the world, but I don't think he gonna do that because. Drake has made Wayne a lot of money, you know what I mean? So it's probably in his best interest just to be quiet, you know, but, you know, because he don't want to mess up the money, even though I, I'm sure Lil Wayne feels some type of way, but he don't want to mess up the money. But as soon as that money dry out, as soon as, you know, Drake ain't making him no more money, I think he, he going to come and, and, and expose that motherfucker. 
beefing. Building on this, just as this song was beginning to go viral and people were questioning if Wayne dissed Drake, Wayne almost seemed to quietly double down on what he said by then coming out and releasing another song a few days after this with DJ Premier, Big Sean, and Rick Ross. And now out of all of these names on this track, the fact that Wayne is standing alongside somebody like Rick Ross, who is somebody whose beef with Drake has escalated beyond even music, and right. has went into the physical realm considering what happened last time Ross was in Toronto. This right. is all showing that this isn't just a case of Wayne appearing to be on a song with another rapper who happens to have a problem with Drake by chance, but that he is here and standing by Ross still because he is not on good terms with Drake himself either. And now between these initial musical moments, which show Wayne sneak dissing Drake and appearing alongside one of his biggest rivals, and then other details that only seem to support this idea, such as that Drake and Wayne were not seen together once at major public functions they were both in attendance at, like Michael Rubin's white party. And then on top of this, other things like Not Like Us playing during a Lil Wayne concert before he came out, and then Lil Wayne chanting They Not Like Us while performing the motto at a club, which while even I thought was supporting Drake at first, now in conjunction with all of this, seems to show Wayne to- I've been saying, because everybody was like, no, nah, he's supporting Drake. I said, no, nah, I don't think he's supporting Drake. I think he low-key dissing him. You know what I mean? And shoot, I, I, well, I don't, I, I'm not going to say I was the first person, but I heard a lot of people say, you know, this is Wayne supporting Drake. I was like, no, nah, I don't think so. I, th I think he low-key taking a shot at Drake, right? To almost be mocking Drake and making so many passive moves at dissing him. And now on top of all of this, most recently, and making all of these pieces from features to the subtle jabs all appear as clear and targeted attacks. Wayne has had another feature release on Mike Will Made His Track Higher. And now while this song also features Drake's good friend Lil Yachty, as Yachty also appeared on Mustard's album, who is of course the producer of Not Like Us, we have seen that he is really a non-factor and does not care about what songs he appears on as long as nice. he is getting a check. But now what's significant here and is really serving as the most telling piece to this- How the fuck is Lil Yachty like the- how how is he all of a sudden like the like the ghostwriter for all these people, man? Like <laughs> Yachty? It's 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 kind of amazing how he's still relevant. You know, it's it's not like his career like took off and like I wonder what gave the people like, all right, yeah, Yachty gonna write your song for you. So it's it's kind of interesting how Yachty is somehow relevant. But you know, hey, you know, a salute to that complicated situation so far is that in the music video for the song we see Lil Wayne wearing multiple chains and at that not just any chain but none other than the weekend's label XO's chain and as the weekend came out on social media to support Wayne and show love for him supporting him and his crew which also just by doing this was definitely the weekend trying to poke Drake mm, wait 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 hold on let's let's go back to that real quick whoa 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 wait 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 what serving as the most telling piece to this complicated situation so far is that in the music video for this song we see Lil Wayne wearing multiple chains and at that not just any chain but none other than the weekend's label XO's chain and as the weekend came out oh shit now come on now y'all cannot tell me this is by accident come on now now everybody know the beef that Drake got with Drake got with the weekend you going to tell me if you rock it with somebody like that and you know the the type of tension Drake got with the weekend. You telling me that Lil Wayne is going to be wearing the weekend's XO chain in a music video supporting the weekend? Come on now. Come on now. What you say they said this been filmed? Hey, I don't care if it been filmed. Drake and and the weekend been been at it for a while. So it's just just kind of, you know, things that make you go, hmm. It seemed like Lil Wayne is collabing with a lot of Drake enemies. <laughs> right? He he just did a song with with uh with um Rick Ross. He was he was on a song with Ross. Now this is coming out, you know, so it's kind of interesting. And then Lil Wayne was rapping Kendrick Lamar, Not Like Us, over a Drake song. And then, you know, all the little shots that he been saying in uh, his, 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 his new songs that he been releasing. Come on now. I think it's pretty obvious now. I think it's pretty obvious. Out on social media to support Wayne and show love for him supporting him and his crew, which also just by doing this was definitely the weekend trying to poke Drake a little more. This piece of jewelry that Wayne was showing off in the music video garnered even more attention. And now, what's so serious about this is that really, even more than Top Dog Entertainment and Kendrick Lamar in a lot of ways, Drake's beef with the weekend and his EXO crew is even more serious as because Drake and the weekend exactly. are from the same city. They have been beefing on the same turf and are involved even more in the same circles than Drake and Kendrick could ever be. And now, with all these moments, which if you take away anything from, at the bottom line, if we are not even trying to look further into his lyrics or into his actions, are just showing Wayne show support for the weekend, Rick Ross, and Kendrick Lamar, who are, of exactly. course, some of Drake's big. 
biggest rivals. At this moment in time where Drake has never needed more help from other artists, especially somebody who actually can rap like Lil Wayne. Wayne has been nowhere to be found when it comes to supporting his corner and instead. Nowhere. Wayne been M.I.A. <laughs> He hasn't just been passive or in hiding. He has been standing on the other side of things and doing work and showing love to the artists who have teared up Drake's image like we have never seen. So with Thanks. all of this, we are now witnessing firsthand from what has been put out that Lil Wayne is not on Drake's side and that he has been making a quiet effort to help echo the same hatred that so much of the industry Thanks. has for him. But as Drake and Wayne have been close for so long, the greater question that all of this still leaves is why would Wayne be doing all of this in the first place? And now I don't think anyone aside from them would actually be able to answer this question in full detail. What we do know for a fact is that what Kendrick Lamar said about Drake stealing Wayne's girl while he was away is a true thing that did happen. And while I am sure with this happening over a decade ago, for somebody like Wayne, it would take more than just this one thing to set this all off. Kendrick bringing this back to light definitely added some more fuel to whatever is already brewing, but beyond just this, the only other answers we can draw up is that what Kendrick said on Not Like Us is just scratching the surface of their personal issues. And now as it seems like Nicki Minaj and Drake's relationship is also somewhat disrupted because of the way Drake so freely hops on songs with female rappers that Nicki does not like, maybe Wayne- And that's gonna lead me to Nicki Minaj. Now, now it seems like Nicki Minaj taking shots. So that's going to lead me to my next video. So it seemed like Wayne might be taking shots. And then after this video, we're going to talk about Nikki. So uh, it seemed like he didn't ruffle a few feathers over there on Young Money, man. Some, some things that make it go, hmm. I don't know, but we're going to get to it freely hops on songs with female rappers that Nicki does not like. Maybe Wayne is sticking with Nicki and riding with who he really feels like represents young money mm -hmm. the surface of their personal issues. And now as it seems like Nicki Minaj and Drake's relationship is also somewhat disrupted because of the way Drake so freely hops on songs with female rappers that Nicki does not like. Maybe Wayne is sticking with Nicki and riding with who he really feels like represents young money and everything they built. But regardless of this, as it stands right now, and whether all of this is because of some sort of industry drama or it's because of personal differences, we know for sure that Lil Wayne has turned on Drake as he has been quietly showing his support for all of these other artists. And as Wayne is going out of his way to support some of the artists, Drake has some super horrible tensions with like the weekend. It's clear that he has never wanted to stand further away from Drake because in this time where association in the rap game is so pivotal and telling to where everyone stands because of course if we have seen. Drake has absolutely lost it when anybody has shown any sort of respect for his rivals, even outside of the rap world with people like LeBron James. Lil Wayne has definitely- We gonna talk about LeBron too offended Drake in this way and has been trying to and while this feud has not blown over yet and maybe Drake does not want it to in full because he is scared of messing with a rapper who he directly knows how great he is as Wayne seems to be getting more active with features this year right now man if there's anybody that can expose Drake the the most it's it's Wayne you know Wayne knows probably knows more about you know all of this than anybody so if it's one person uh Drake don't want to piss off it's definitely Wayne because I'm sure Wayne know a lot of things about Drake so if it's one person that can really just bury Drake, is is Wayne. Now, maybe his future verses will reveal more about how he feels, but as it stands, all we are left to do is wait and see who will be the first rapper to take this beef to the next level. Yeah. And now with all this said, let me know. What do you think about this? Yeah, so, you know, this is, this is going to be interesting to see if Wayne does more songs, more feature songs with uh, Drake's, you know, ops. He already did a song with well, he was already featured on a song with uh, Rick Ross and, you know, taking shots on other songs. And, uh, you know, now he caught wearing an XO chain of the weekend. And, you know, it seems like he it seems like he getting warmed up. So, you know, this is a uh, salute to this individual. Fantastic hip hop. Good video. Good video on why Lil Wayne officially hates Drake. All right. We got that. We got that. We got that. Moving on! Moving on!